All right, you should watch guys. Hi, Terra 5000 here today, bringing a brand new episode of Road to Max today. On to episode number, I think this could be 14 anyway, maybe 15, not at all sure. But it is definitely the Road to Max episode, which is featuring Saturday's clips and the double XP weekend. So double XP weekend, two weeks ago, it's obviously only going to be that one. It's basically all the levels that I got in that day. Also one or two wee additional clips as well. I start off by talking about what I'm going to do that day and I end by summarising what I do that day. That was sort of my aim, so you'll find out what I'm about to do in a minute. Anyway, there's one or two things I need to say before that though. So first of all, there's a lot of background noise, and background noise is something that's always going to be a problem in student accommodation. This is student accommodation right now. This is going to be changing actually. Uh, I've only got, it's only like three months left on this tenancy actually, and then I'll be moving out. Uh, I'll either be moving back home for a bit or moving straight into an apartment or uh, house. Not at all sure really what's happening yet. We're trying to organise that me and some friends, so that should be quite good anyway, and uh, I'm not so sure what's going to be happening, but there's still a lot of background noise nonetheless. There's also quite a bit of noise from my computer as well, it seems that I was recording a lot of my clips while live streaming, and I mean, recording clips is totally fine, live streaming is fine, playing a game is fine, editing is fine, rendering is fine, but when you put them all together, which I was doing like three or four of them things at once, my computer started to make um, a more high pitched noise, and I tried to remove that in some of the clips, however it's not as easy as just removing it. I use uh, Audacity to edit most of my sound, and it's good uh, to an extent, but it can't get rid of it totally. So I do apologise if you hear a bit of that, hopefully you won't notice it. Uh, I've tried to remove it as much as possible. And also, in some of the clips I do, I mean you can basically tell, I muck up my words, I say things wrong. There's one of the clips anyway, one of them at like 3 o'clock in the morning, I struggle to say numbers correctly, and I'm just very tired. I mean this full weekend, usually when I do a clip anyway, I can usually have about three or four takes. I'll like if I'm not happy with saying something, I'll repeat it and I'll put it over the clip. I've done that in some cases here, but some cases I couldn't, obviously because it was live. Sometimes I do muck up, and I seem to muck up quite a lot in this certain episode. Anyway, this episode only has nine levels, which might be like what nine levels? I got 18 in the last one. Yeah, I know, but I still got like 3.75 million XP. Uh, these levels were a lot more XP difference if you know what I mean, so there was a lot larger XP difference So it took me longer to get levels and I did like some slower skills as well You'll find out, I'm not going to ruin it all for you, uh, but go ahead and watch that There's some parts you're not enjoying, there's some parts where I really struggle to speak, uh, just words Some parts as well I've been slurring a lot, but I'm not too sure really why, it was like really early on in the morning So you just skip ahead of that and go to the next clip I'm not too bothered, just hope you enjoyed the video anyway Next thing I want to say though is that I've made a Facebook page as well, so I'm going to have to put, I need to remember, to put a link down into the description below. So uh, I do have a Twitter page as well, so if you go follow me and like me on Facebook as well, I've linked my Facebook and my Twitter account together. So when I post on my Facebook, I'll post on my Twitter as well, which will help me out a lot. So hopefully I can start to be a lot more active and build up communication with uh, you guys over at that as well. Anyway, so that is really it for the intro. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like rating. There's a new video, there's a new quest coming out on Thursday. That should be, I'm going to edit that uh, probably tomorrow, let's be honest. Uh, that is Missing Presumed Death. That is in build up for Dishonor Among Thieves, which will probably come out like next Wednesday, midweek, next week. And then this weekend, there'll be the final episode of Road to Match, the double XP weekend as well. So that's what we've got to look forward to. Need to put out another episode of Rune Talks and uh, Old School RuneScape. I'll just leave it at that. But I'm very tempted, let's put it that way, uh, especially with the new Grand Exchange put into that. So, talk about that in the future anyway, but I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you at the end. Alright YouTube, what's going on? It is Hi Sarah 5000 here today bringing another episode of Road to Mats. Today we're starting off with the Saturday episode of the Double XP Weekend. Yesterday we gained 28 skills, I pretty much just started off from where we left off in the last episode. However, you're seeing this a few days on. Uh, it's lag fest right now, but I'm going to start gathering my daily gathering limit for the day. As I said, I'm going to continue on doing Hunter stuff, because Hunter is the... It's not the worst skill in the game, but it's my least... Or one of my least enjoyable skills in the game, and uh, as you know... God, this is just a fucking lag fest. Um, I mean, even without recording, it would still be absolute lag fest, so... Uh, well, I don't know if it's lag or frames, I think it's a mixture of both, but there's too many people here, basically. That's the problem, so... Just seeing XP going up my screen, really, not really seeing my character moving much. Uh, there we go, there, we're already making loads of gains, anyway. We just went from 193k all the way down to 166k, so with bonus XP and double XP, uh, the gains are pretty fucking high, and I'm expecting to get a very, very low down. So, you know, that's me at 50% now as well. I can't really tell what's going on if the box is still there. It is still there right now, and I probably need to try and make my way over to the bank, but 
Don't know how successful that's going to be. Fucking lag city. Yes, I would agree with you. Uh, luckily enough, there's a box trap which has spawned behind me. However, I've just clicked on someone's name by accident. Uh, this is absolute fucking chaos. So, it doesn't really help when people have fucking tons of beast of burdens here. Beast of burdens and the clan things just ruin the places like Birth Orp, honestly. Make them horrendous and so annoying. I really do actually hate being able to see other people, so it doesn't benefit you at all. It really just gets in your way of stuff. But I'm coming up on this daily gathering limit now. I bought myself 200 Vizwags yesterday, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend that to reset today's daily gathering limit, because I think that's a good idea. Just because that's me now reached my daily gathering limit, and I've already managed to get myself all the way down to 141k, so I managed to get some point 60k uh, was there from my daily gathering limit, which was quite nice. I'm already ranking through this hunter level. I'm just very quickly going to bank and then reset. I never actually have reset before my uh, daily gathering limit of 4 with Vizwax. I never have for some reason. Uh, in a sense, I don't really think it's worth it because it's double XP weekend. Everything's really worth it. It's not worth it or it's on sort of the borderline of being worth it anyway. Didn't actually do my Jack of Trades for yesterday either. Uh, but I'm not so sure if that book does give you double XP or not. Should have probably done it, but in the end I didn't. And uh, I maybe lost out on 30k, but... To be honest, I've already gained 4.3 million, god knows how much XP, so uh, it doesn't really matter too much about 30k. Anyway, so we've got absolutely no idea what's going on right now. Uh, this is just an absolute lag fest. Don't worry, the whole episode will not be like this. Uh, I tend to obviously come to these places at reset time just because I did last night's about uh, just before reset. I did yesterday's and I do today, so that means that I do not have to come along here uh, on Saturday night going into Sunday morning. Uh, it means I've just done it all at once, which is quite good. Anyway, that's me now reached my daily gathering limit, which is quite unfortunate, but a very good start to the day anyway. Started off at, I think it was like 191k Hunter experience, we're now already down to 102, so couldn't really ask for a much better, and of course it's in Hunter as well, which is one of my least favourite skills anyway. First thing we need to do is get off this world, and so let's change to a low ping world that I have in mind. It's uh, great to have loads of friends, loads of these added on here, just because it means I can hop worlds. Very, very easy. I'm looking for a world which I know has a low ping because obviously can't be dealing with this ping very well. I'm just going to hop over right now to this world randomly here. This is probably an American world, but I mean, as long as it doesn't have this many players on it, then hopefully we should be okay. Anyway, so plans for today. I mean, yesterday what went down, our variety of skills went down anyway. I'll talk you through what is going to happen today. Again, there's going to be a large amount of skill. God, there's a lot of people. Well, it's not a lot of people. It has not a lot of people. But I'm going to talk you through anyway what my plans are for today. Now basically yesterday what went down was it sort of went to plan, sort of didn't went to plan. A lot of things landed up happening. For example, I didn't plan to get an agility level yesterday. I didn't plan getting a rune crafting level yesterday. Um, and I didn't, well I mean I was wanting to get to 80 summoning but I really didn't think I'd get there. Uh, I expected to be a wee bit more further with thieving at this stage. And herb lore, I mean I'm halfway there but I've been fortunate to be given supplies by someone, Somali, um, who's been very, very, very generous to me. I think Somali has now gone offline, actually, but they, he has been very, or she, has been very generous to me and given me quite a few herb lore supplies, so I might be able to push for 90. I'm halfway right now to 88 from 78, so, I mean, as you can see, there was 48%, so I'm not too far off it anyway. Uh, I need to continue on with herb lore, obviously, though, because herb lore is one of these skills which you want to do really fast because the potions are crashing by the second right now. Super strength this morning, I'm pretty sure I was selling them for 5k, the mid price was 6.2k, and then I'm pretty sure they're already down now to like 4k, so it's a bit of a drop, but I mean, this is always expected. Need to do more feeding as well. Uh, one or two things that I've got to use up as well, I've got my protein hides to use up, which I might go ahead and do now actually. Also got all these protein traps as well, so that should get me anyway to 82 Hunter. Not at all sure how much XP they will get me at once actually, but there's a lot of them. I'm assuming roughly they're going to get me um, maybe about 500 uh, XP to about 700 XP. Can't remember how much Red Chompas are actually. So it looks like Red Chompas or whatever they've been renamed anyway. Uh, basically they give you 265, so that's going to be 530 XP per protein trap. On that basis they'll go ahead and very quickly do a calculation. So 340 times by 530 give us a grand total of 180,000 so I mean that'll definitely get us to 82 and probably halfway on the way to 83 which will be quite nice need to do that at some point tempted to do these hides now actually I've also got myself a crafting daily challenge as well which I need to do surprisingly I have been AFKing well that's no surprise actually but I've not been doing the heart when I've been AFKing that's why I went to do runecrafting and that's also why I did partially the agility 
Just standing on the pillars though. Bar that though, getting off topic, today's aims are getting uh, some more feeding levels, at least 85 if not, I mean 86, 87 is really today's aim. Want to get that nice and high by the end of the day, want to get this to at least 88 herb lore as well, that would be very, very nice. Bar that though, not at all really sure what is going to happen, those are the two main aims, I'm going to work around them. So those are going to be my two primary focuses, however I need to get coursework done today as well, so we'll have to do some AFK, but I think I'm just going to start off with something really basic, some protein heights. So I think basically what this will allow me to do is AFK for a very long time. Now I've got, I'm going to be getting 505 XP from them and basically I've got 540 of them. So I mean basically that is going to be, I need 2 and I basically get a K XP which is quite nice. On the basis that I might have anyway, I'm going to be getting 270k. That was just off the top of my head and that was fast math. 270k will get me 93 actually which is quite exciting. So... And that's probably going to be like a good 20 minutes down the line though, so I'm going to stop recording for now and I'll catch you later on. Alright, so you now join me, it's like 8 minutes past 2 in the morning and I'm about to get myself a crafting level here, just using up some of these protein hides here. Uh, very, very AFK anyway, I've not just been doing this though, in the past 2 hours I've not gained any levels which is quite a surprise. I have been um, doing some Photoshop for my coursework anyway, which I need to sort of do for next week. I've got three coursework to do for next week and I've not completed any of them yet. So that's why I'm sort of doing coursework at the same time as playing uh, some AFK in a sense. So I've been doing a bit of this anyway. So that has me now got 93 crafting and also is about to see a Harblower level, which I'll talk about in a minute. But there we go, this is 93 crafting now, which is pretty good. I'm also just going to finish up these hides. There's nothing really too much up here that I want to make anyway. I mean, I think crafting is going to be my next 99, not that I'm aiming to get any 99s this weekend, so don't get your hopes up, but it's probably going to be my next 99, just because it's been going that way and there's no other levels that I really want to train uh, past 90. Anyway, so now that I've just gone ahead and banked, I'm very close to getting another herb lore level, so this is me slowly getting, I'm now 58% of the way through of my aim, and uh, basically, I mean, this is very easy, all I'm doing, as I said, is watching, I'm also watching the Call of Duty Season 1 uh, playoffs, which is quite enjoyable, so... I mean, I've sort of been a wee bit, um, not been maximising my XP, I guess you could say, which I really need to obviously up my game for, but uh, here we go, here's the next level, and at 85 I do get something good, and still working up to extremes anyway. Probably going to continue on, not at all sure we're not going to play too, uh, but I mean, I'll probably go to bed when I'm tired, and I will wake up, usually I try to sleep in, uh, but I'm just going to wake up when I wake up the first time. Usually what happens in my sleeping pattern, I don't know if it's that everyone's is the same, but when I wake up, I usually go back to sleep for an hour, and then if I try and go back to sleep again, I only sleep for about half an hour, and it just gets less and less and less until I can't go back to sleep. Um, but, I mean, if I just wake up uh, tomorrow morning, then I'll probably just wake up and get going. I will live stream at some point tomorrow, but there's no point in me telling you about that, just because you're not going to see this video until after Double XP weekend. Anyway, level 85 is pretty good. Super Anti-Fires was the one. Not going to be making any Super, super Anti-Fires anyway. But, I mean, Super Anti-Fires uh, will be good if I ever have to make them anyway, uh, which I won't, but, I mean, they're good to use anyway, um, which is very, very nice. I'm going to continue on uh, doing the Super Strengths for now while watching the live stream, and hopefully uh, not too long. I mean, that's 337k, so that's quite a bit away anyway. But if we think about that, uh, very quickly, just get my calculator up here. I really like maths anyway, so I'm, what, we're at 334, and then divide that by... I'm getting 4k per inventory just under right now, this is 83 inventories. One inventory right now um, takes 14 seconds, but the time my bank can actually reset it, it's taking 20 seconds, so I can do 3 a minute, and then if you divide 83 or 84 by 3 anyway, basically you're looking at about half an hour to 45 minutes. Yeah, you're looking at about half an hour actually, I'm pretty sure, so maybe not, but I mean that's if I'm exactly bang on, like doing 3 inventories a minute, which I'm really not doing right now, I'm fanning around as I usually do. So, I mean, I'm still actually getting hair blow levels at quite a fast rate anyway, but definitely it slowed down from earlier on this morning anyway, uh, or this morning, or this afternoon, obviously, uh, when I just started double XP, when double XP just started in this game. So, I mean, I was getting levels uh, a lot faster than half an hour anyway, and I was even live streaming that time anyway. But enough about saying the word anyway, because I just said anyway like five times there. I'm going to stop this clip and I'll catch you again, hopefully in about maybe half an hour's time. Alright, so you join me about 45 minutes later after I recorded the last clip. So obviously didn't get all the stuff done in half an hour anyway. Uh, as I said, I was watching the Call of Duty livestream. Optic won uh, their first game of the playoffs 3-0, which was quite good, obviously a whitewash that is in Call of Duty terms. 
uh, so quite good. Uh, Denial uh, and Envy came on, and interesting uh, game anyway, different, because uh, they had some trades throughout the season with each other, but if you don't follow Call of Duty then, it is uh, pretty much pointless me talking about it anyway, but I really couldn't be bothered watching that game, so I'm watching a YouTube video now before I go to bed. I've been playing for about 15 hours, near enough straight bar, maybe the hour gap or so. What was it even an hour? It was like 40 minutes maybe of that when I went to buy my dinner. Uh, but I mean, I've actually been quite productive of course today, so there we go, it's another hard blower level. I'm probably actually going to go into 86 a bit as well while watching this video. Because this video is quite long. Don't think I get anything 86. I don't think I get anything until Extreme Attacks. Anyway, I've actually got some stuff donated to me, as I said earlier on, for Extreme Attacks. And uh, I'm not so sure about Extreme Strengths, but I've definitely got some stuff for Extreme Attacks anyway. Enough to make 500 of them, which is quite good. So, buzzing for that. But I'm not at all sure if I've got enough supplies to get me all the way to 88. I know I've got enough supplies to get me to 87.5. At a minimum, I'm struggling. Like, I can just tell like, I'm struggling. I was struggling to say, like, I was trying to say 700 there when it was 700,000. So I just tell my body's at that stage where I'm just like, meh. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I've really enjoyed the 15 hours actually. It's been good fun. I mean, I only live streamed for six, uh, which is very strange anyway. I mean, I never live streamed for that long before. So it was enjoyable though. It was definitely enjoyable. And uh, probably, I'm not too sure what's going to happen tomorrow anyway. but. I just really want to gain loads of herb lore levels right now. I have a drive to just do herb lore, so. Uh, but I mean, right now the level difference is getting ridiculous. I mean, we're at 600, and now it's 300. It's not even 300. 300,000 and 68,000. 368,000 is the number I'm trying to say. So it's time for bed anyway. I can tell my bed will be in the next half hour anyway. So this is probably the last clip we're going to see uh, of this morning, technically. Uh, but before we go to sleep, and hopefully I'll wake up maybe at, uh, before 12 o'clock, that'll be the aim anyway, but not at all sure if that will happen. Alright, so a little while has passed, and I'm now doing uh, super energy potions, I believe, using these Avento unfinished potions with these Mort Myfrungs. I've never made these before, I actually had some supplies in my bank, so I thought, hey, let's just use them, because they did, as we calculated, run out of the Quarum unfinished potions, and of the, well I do have a lot of roots left over actually which I'll probably sell back in a minute but there we go, so it's level 88 so I'm really happy with that uh, that has me basically achieved the goal now actually I wouldn't mind to get 90 though, 90 is a round number I uh, quite like 90 but I also have a lot of skills at 88 right now as well I have divination ever, that's only 15k away I also have some dungeoneering I have that as well, got a lot of supplies to sell back now as well this is basically now the supplies, I've actually organised my bank just to calculate some stuff so Got all them to sell back, though if I want to make myself extreme strengths, which I'm not at all sure which level they're at, uh, but I know I just unlocked extreme attacks there. Extreme strengths are only one extra level, so might hold out on selling all them off if I can get this next level anyway. Not at all sure what I'm going to be able to do for this next level though. I know I'll be able to make quite a lot of super attacks, I've got 500 of the herb and 500 of super attacks anyway. But then, bar that, that's not going to get me the level. I need to finish up using uh, or making some more super energy potions. I will do that. But I mean, that is only. I don't know if it's going to get me to level or not. I'm gonna, not going to work it out. I'm just going to go with it and hope and pray that I get to level 89. Alright, so fast forward. I'm not so sure how long it's been since the last clip anyway, but I'm now in Birthorpe and basically I'm about to get 89, which is really good. I went through all my extreme attack potions quite quickly and there was unfortunately about 100k gap. Uh, which you need to fill. So I went on ahead and bought about 400 of these Quarm Unfinished Potions. Had loads of these Lumpwort Roots left over from the School of Cleansing anyway. So I went ahead and basically um, used some of them up anyway. And uh, making myself some more Super Strengths. The good thing is actually I can use my Super Strengths in a minute. So let's just go ahead and get this level. And then I'll tell you really what I mean. So basically from this new level now, which we have just achieved there. Which is pretty good and awesome. We should get Extreme Strengths. Now how do you make extreme strengths? You mix super strengths with a herb. I'm not at all sure which herb it is. It is either going to be um, the land to mine or whatever. That's what I call it. Or it's either going to be the dwarf. So I'm not at all sure which one. But that's what you do to mix it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm going to try go for 90. As you can see I'm 47% of really bad colouring actually. It's the text in white when it should be in black. But I'm at 47% of the way through... Uh, from 88 to 90 so I mean it is quite good and yeah I'm just going to continue on with that and then I will stop at 90 alright so it's now just gone past 3 o'clock in the afternoon I'm still streaming still having a bit but really 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 bored um, safe to say of Herblore now but we are finally at level so let me just say to the French chat um, my Herblore level is 
level 89 and let's go and get myself level 90 here so i'm only 2k away uh this shall get me the necessary xp i believe i really hope it does oh fuck it's not gonna oh that's really awkward isn't it uh i'm like <laughs> i'm 100 gp i'm 100 xp short and the portable wells just fucking disappeared as well uh but don't worry i will clean some herbs for you here so uh that's what i'll do that's kind of awkward uh very quickly make this last potion anyway so there we go, so how much XP do we 71 XP. Do you know how much XP do you get? Oh yeah, 13.1, yes, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. So there we go, there's level 90, so pretty fucking happy at that. And then if I just very quickly update Herblore, my Herblore level is level 90, so that's quite good. So a bit of a fail there really for the clip, but uh, I managed to get it in the end. That's me done with Herblore, now I'm going to go sell up. And do apologise about door slamming in the background. Uh, I'm going to go sell up now and see what a loss I guess I've really made. Alright, so there we go, there is the level, wasn't expecting it to get it off that door, but there we go, so there's 84, uh, I've been recording since the start of this raid, why, I've opened up all the doors, why can't I go through it, I fucking hate this, when you open up all the doors but you don't double click and you don't actually go through, because uh, you obviously need to pick the tomb and then you need to go through the door, so anyway, there, there we go, there's 84, been doing Pyramid Plunder as you can tell for about the past 45 minutes now, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on till the end of this hour, so I get the maximum, uh, boost out this aura I guess I could say so it gets me a wee bit into 84 plan is to at least get to 85 today if not 86 I find uh, Pyramid Plunder boring um, so I can only probably do I'm only going to do an hour at a time right now uh, what I'm going to do after this hour I'm not all sure really what I'm going to do I might do my protein traps actually because uh, we have now done my herb lore my construction it's just feeding that's really left but I can't do too much feeding at once so uh, I want to do some AFK for a bit so I might go and do um, some hunter uh, I've also got some divination, need that 15k to be used up I guess as well, so uh, we'll see about that, but uh, having uh, good success at feeding actually, I mean it's taken me less than an hour to get levels which is pretty good, uh, near enough uh, from when I started off about 40 or 50 minutes ago now I guess, you could say, I was just into the new levels, I mean it's really not taking me that long, I'm getting about 300k per hour, uh, which is really good, so I mean the next level is only 291k away, so I'll probably get that in an hour. Uh, which is really really good so it's not too difficult right now anyway it's just very repetitive and very boring i'm also a bit tired because i don't get the full night sleep i usually would last night anyway uh, just because i obviously want to try and get the best out of xp so i get nothing new unfortunately wasn't expecting anything new i'm um, not at all sure what you get at 85 uh, you get pickpocket elves but this is what i really want to get so that's why i want to get to the high 80s so i can work towards getting all the way to 91 anyway because that is the real aim I do realise anyway at some point anyway that you will get dwarves as well, I'm not at all sure what level dwarves are even at though so I need to work that out and I'm pretty sure you can boost anyway to do dwarves so I thought dwarves are 90 but I believe you can boost to them anyway so I'm not at all sure really what's going on there but anyway I'm going to continue on with this for the next 10 minutes at least do another 2 runs and then probably stop and go do something else. Alright, so I need to get some coursework done, so it's been quite a bit of time since the last level. Partially that reason is because I'm doing some mining. I never said I was going to do some mining, but I decided to do one level, just because I wanted to do coursework, like I said, and also the fact as well that uh, I wanted to get 85 mining because I get rune ores, and rune ores is almost something that I've wanted to be able to mine myself. Not at all sure why, it's just one of these things that I've always wanted to go ahead and kill myself an abyssal demon and get a whip as well. Uh, I want to make my own rune set from scratch, not at all sure why. That's always just been a dream of mine like a way back like five years ago. Those were the two big dreams anyway, to make my own rune set from scratch and to get a whip. I realise they're nothing uh, what they used to be now. Rune sets are only worth like 100 key each, I'm pretty sure now. And uh, whips, I mean, whips have gone from what, 4 mil to about uh, less than 400k. I mean, I think they're at like 150k right now, so... Um, but I mean, RuneScape changes anyway, but it's still nice anyway that I can now go and do Rune Ore, so that is pretty good. So I might go over to Elf City, that's what I'm going to do right now actually, is going to very quickly run over to Elf City and just mine myself a Rune Ore, because I want to do that, and I uh, also need to change up skills. Optic is playing right now, which is really, really unfortunate. Um, I mean, I'm watching Optic play obviously right now, but um, the t I mean, I've not leveled for about two hours just because mining is so slow. Um, and I mean, basically I'm missing a bit of the optic game, but of course it's worth it anyway for the RuneScape double XP weekend. Anyway, so very quickly just deposit that in there. Uh, someone actually had a very smart idea, it wasn't me, uh, but basically we were mining gold door on a lot. I've been hopping worlds right now, but on world 85 or 84 where we were originally at, anyway, someone had a gold deposit box, which I thought was a very smart idea. 
Anyway, I do believe there is rune ore here, or one rune ore here. Uh, however, it looks like it has been mined, unfortunately, so that's kind of shit. As you can see, there's some adamants in there as well, which have not been mined, but someone's obviously hopping worlds and mining the rune ores, which is kind of unfortunate, but I mean, that's a tactic to go for anyway. Can't really blame anyone for that, so that is very quickly what I'm going to go ahead and do. I also can actually do the daily gathering um, resource of rune as well. Now, not that you should ever do rune rocks, you should always do mithril because it's the most efficient if you are going to be training mining in your daily gathering limit. But I'm very quickly just going to hop worlds and then hopefully um, we can get ourselves a nice wee cheeky rune ore. That's just what I do, I tend to just hop worlds now. Um, I realise there's a lot of stuff going on in the chat there which I did just miss, but here we go. So here's two rune ores, which this is very exciting actually. So this is my first. I've never actually used boost before to get one. It uh, looks like this guy maybe could be hopping as well. Um, but hopefully I'll get it anyway. I know I need to buy a dragon pickaxe, and I probably will now anyway if we're going for um, 89. I really do need to, and I can also make that into a crystal pickaxe, as long as I don't add that to my tool belt, and that will help me out quite a bit anyway. I mean, this is just very slow with the rune uh, pickaxe. As you can see, it's taken me a very long time to mine this rune fucking ore. Not at all sure how much rune ore is actually worth. Uh, it might be worth, uh, hopefully, maybe 10 to... 12k, hopefully in that sort of region anyway, but I'm starting to get quite tired actually, that's me being playing again for 12 hours straight, so my mind starts to get to this stage after a very long time of gaming, it's just like, what the hell is going on, why am I trying to commentate and actually play video games at the same time, so, it doesn't always got a plan in but why is this taking so long, it's quite annoying, so, anyway, there we go, so that's me managed to get the Renault, I didn't actually record it, I switched over to the Optic Gaming game, looks like Optic Gaming just got destroyed in the S and D. But there we go, so that's my first ever rune ore, I thought I'd just record that anyway, and they're worth roughly 9 or 10 KS, I guess, right now. Alright, so I've been AFKing for the last week while just doing some work, but it did take over into the next day now, so I thought, as like last night at midnight, I thought I'd bring you my progress for the day. So as you can see, basically I'm not gaining mining too fast, I mean, the XP rates roughly, I think I was about, I've gained about 30 maybe K in these 14 minutes, I've been switching between coal and gold right now because the gold deposit has just dropped down hopefully it'll come back very soon though because obviously coal is a little bit slower but i was at around 8 million and 50k so i mean another really good gain tomorrow i should easily smash 10 mil i'm not going to go to bed just yet though i mean i'll probably be up for a wee while turns out i never knew this with seven stones you can actually do them for 87 with boost which is really good so now i'm just really badly wanting to get an 87 mining so that's my aim now actually looks like coal has just dropped as well uh, so basically that's my aim that's what I'm going for right now anyway. I decided to just go for my own world just because uh, World 84 was a bit hectic and wasn't enjoying it. I was originally hopping as well, but obviously talking to the French chat, that is probably not the most ideal thing to do. So I'm just sort of doing some coursework right now and just chilling out. But anyway, I thought I'd just bring you that anyway, so unfortunately no level. But we're now 187k away, so I mean we're a good wee bit through this level, I guess. I do apologise for the very abrupt end there, not at all sure really why I just randomly cut out, but I did anyway, so I guess let's do a proper outro here, so thank you very much for watching anyway, Saturday was a lot different to Friday anyway, a lot of it was more herb lore and mining in the end actually, a lot of it was the FK, because as I said I was needing to do coursework, I had three coursework due for the week after, and the week after was just absolutely hectic, hence why I didn't actually see any videos. So I made a start to my coursework anyway, and in a sense, yeah, it meant that I couldn't do as much feeding as I wanted to. So that was a bit of a disappointment, but you'll see if I make up for it in the next episode anyway. So bar that, that is the end of this video. Please leave this video a like rating. If you missed the previous episode, which is Friday's episode of the Double XP Weekend, go ahead and click the link down in the description below. Follow me on Twitter like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitch, all links are down in the description below. Again, if you've some reason not left a like rating, please do leave a comment below, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'm out. Adios.